very much. I'm going to hit on some common student questions on the residency match, and that really relates to strategy. So let me go over some principles for you. Number one, you cannot game the system. And that's that is the case because the system, if the rank order list defaults to your choice. If you have three programs on your rank order list uh, that select you, they, you get the one that is the highest on your list, so default to your choice. So subsequently, it's very important that you apply broadly. Indicate what is your primary specialty, what is your backup specialty, maybe even a second backup specialty, and apply widely from a geographic point of view. Also, as Dr. Pence said, be sure you have a backup. Um, I say to my students all the time, don't gamble on the scramble. That is not working out to people's advantage. So put down as many places as you would consider going as well, thinking, well, I'll just put the top two places that I really want, and then after that, I'll just list some TRI or some transitional year programs. That is not a good option. Let me give you an example. If you want to do pediatrics and you've got several programs you're looking at, but there, there's one, let's say, that you think, hmm, I really don't think I want to go there. If you would rather not be a pediatrician than go to that program, then don't list it. But if being a pediatrician is what you really, really want to do, then even though that may not be one of your top choices, put it down. On the other hand, when you get to your backup specialties, there may also be a couple of programs where you say that those really are not very attractive to me. So think about this, if you'd rather not be a doctor than go to those programs, then don't put them down. If you've got the program on your rank order list, you have the best chance of going there. Don't plan on getting it in the scramble. If you are, in, are willing to go to that program, if you got it in the scramble, then put it on your rank order list. Additionally, uh, saying, um, that, that uh, my best advice comes from other people that I'm talking to uh, is probably not the best approach either. You need to talk to your, to your dean's office, to your school, and they will give you the best advice with the most current information. Now, there's one other situation where, where I think people need to give some thought, and this ha really has nothing to do with a single accreditation system, it has to do with the fact that we have two matches for graduates of osteopathic uh, colleges. And this is, this is that difficult situation where a, on a program that's only in the NRMP match is your number one, and a program that's only in your NMS match is your number two. And you have to decide the NMS match for AOA accredited programs only happens first. If you match there, then you will not have a chance at your first rated program. However, if you gamble and say, well, I'm not going to go in the NMS match and maybe I'll pick up that program later in the scramble and you don't get the pro your number one choice, that program you wanted on the AOA only side is probably going to be gone. On the other hand, having the option to have two matches is still very much of a benefit because the programs that put uh, positions in the, the uh, AOA match uh, for you, then will, there will be fewer people in, the, in that match. So that is to your advantage. If a program is in both matches, which they can do, then ask them which match should you, should you participate in and which, where should you put them on the rank order list. You can put them on, you can put that program on both rank order lists if, if you choose to do so. 
again, my best advice is go back to your own school to get the information. Uh, and the things have changed every year, actually, in this situation, as Dr. Pence said, they're changing sometimes even on a daily basis. Ask the program what they're doing, where you should match. They're expecting you to ask those kinds of program, those kinds of questions. And even someone who matched a couple of years ago uh, may not be aware of the things that have changed at this point. So we're just putting out as much information as possible. I'm going to stop now and turn it back over to Dr. Shannon, but wish you well.